Hi and welcome everyone. I'm Ali Reza Shifai, a PhD student at the Water Management Department of the Delft University of Technology. I'm working on robust long-term planning of water supply network under uncertainty. The main study area in my project is a region in the southwest of the Netherlands. You can see its current status on this map. This area has different challenges regarding the availability of resources for its different growing types of demand. However, changing climates are expected to aggravate these problems. I modeled this network using a graph in which junctions represent supply and demand points, also transfer nodes, while the edges indicate pipelines and pump stations. The system need to be expanded to meet growing water needs. Therefore, it is required to find new resources in future years and deliver their water to demand points using newly built pipelines and pumps, considering the expansion cost and environmental footprint. However, there is severe uncertainty on both demand and supply sides. So we require a sequential decision-making process to approach this problem. We modeled the long-term planning problem using the multi-stake stochastic programming called MSSP, as can be seen through this decision theory, where planning decisions, such as deployment of new resources, storage, and connecting equipment are given at the beginning of stage one, assuming that the cost of facilities at that time point are now. Then the system is operated each year, comprising stage one, considering the new equipment built. Furthermore, the demand grows during that period and the operating conditions throughout the year are considered to be known when operating decisions are made. At the beginning of stage two, planning decisions are made based on known the uncertain parameters revealed in the previous period. The decision process continues until the end of the planning horizon. The problem can be formulated as the following, in which the aim is to minimize the expansion cost on the planning horizon while minimizing the operational cost on the operating horizon for all scenarios. In the meanwhile, we should satisfy network constraint and adapt to the changing conditions around the problem. The problem is mixed integer due to the binary nature of the planning decisions and is non-convex because of the equations governing network dynamics. I wanted to model and solve this complicated optimization problem using JUMP. But when I look at the existing stochastic programming package, I realized that known address my type of problem. Therefore, there is a need for a new package for non-convex mixed integer nonlinear multi-stake stochastic planning problems. Then we started developing a combined method based on primal dual decomposition and co-positive reformulation for tackling the non-convex MSSP problem. In our approach, we first convexify the nonlinear operation problem and then decompose this problem for its operation period by relaxing the coupling constant. Now, we can generate cuts and add them to the master planning problem to complete the loop of the nested decomposition approach. So let's go back to our decision tree, where if we fix the variables of the first state, we can decompose the second state problem for its scenario. And in the second state, if we fix the variables of all four corresponding problems, we can decompose the third state along with the scenarios. This Full chart neatly integrates the method outlined in the decision tree. The blue box represents the inner dual decomposition, and the red box represents the outer primal decomposition. For the planning problem, by fixing the first state variables, that crop the problems of the second state, we can decompose those problems along the scenarios. However, when we come to the operating problem, there are constraints that create dependency between the time steps of the operation. These constraints in our model are related to the dynamic of the tank storage and rainwater storage resources. 
So by relaxing them, we can separate the operating problem to its time step and then apply a dual decomposition approach like dance equal decomposition or Lagrange relaxation to solve it. To solve the operation problem in its operating step, we need to convexify the set of non-convex quadratic constraints representing the energy conservation in the network. As can be seen, there are three variables that have made the problem nonlinear. For this purpose, we apply short relaxation by defining new variables to convert non-convex constraints to linear constraints. This procedure is also known as co-positive reformulation. Within this technique, we lifted variables to a new matrix space. In the written code, the input data for all junctions and brands are defined as function. For example, for resource, demand, with the corresponding scenarios, pipelines, and the electricity prices scenarios. Then we fit them into our model. For example, the operation problem and the related junction. And at, after applying the proposed algorithms, such as relaxation of the and linearization of the non-convex equation, we obtain the optimal solutions and the corresponding value of the variables. So let's illustrate the problem with a simple example. Consider the following water network in which two resource one to supply the required water of the demand one. By increasing the number and amount of required water during the next years, we consider this for scenarios for the demand for stage two. The scenarios make the network layout as follows. If we consider the water demand scenarios for a prolonged period in accordance with this table, the system structure will be like this. So after the application of our MSSP algorithm, we found out that it is just required to choose the blue pipelines from the available options to meet the demand and satisfy the network constraints in its state. Also, in the third state, we only need to build the seven from the 15. To recapitulate briefly, we are developing a Julia package for solving multi-state stochastic programming problems with mixed integer variables and non-convex equations from the second state onwards. The products of this work can be used in three different ways. First and most importantly, it can be used as a solver for non-convex sequential decision problems under uncertainty. Second, it can be used for planning other infrastructures like power systems and heat networks, and in this regard can be integrated with infrastructure models.jl and similar packets. And finally, it can utilize other water network packets like water models.jl to consider a more detailed operational problem. And thanks for your considerations. <laughs>